Hi now, welcome back to the channel. Well, we're here working on the hot rod today. Finally figure out what way I think I'm gonna mount this. See, I think if we come like this, we can straight shoot this with the 90 and go straight to the throttle body from this side. And I don't have to modify this beautiful piece we built. But see, on this side here, I went ahead and hacked off that pipe because I can turn a 90 or straight shoot it that way. And it's gonna go through that little hole down there. But the reason why I've done it like this is if I trim this bracket off here, you got foot room, foot room. I can cut this bracket off. I can use these two. I can come right here across the seat track and build me a piece to mount that to. I can just weld me a simple little piece across up and I can use those two mounts that we already had. And then all I gotta do is come over here, cut these tops off, start about right here. I do something right here where my glove box is. I still want my glove box to open. So if I mount it back as far as I can, I still got glove box to open. As dumb as that is. And then I can come about right here and build about this much of the cooler back to there. Build my little ice box right here. Just something simple. We got enough down here for it to drain into. I can come outside of it. Down here, put me a valve on it to allow it to drain or even come over here and build a little box off of it this direction come build me something that comes out this way boom that we can that can hold more volume than that should be something simple something that we can just put a half bag of ice in rock and roll anyways i'm gonna go over to nigel's here shortly i gotta take him back his 10 snips so i'm gonna go over there and take this start cutting it up see if i can get it fitted see if i can get some stuff built out of wish me luck <clears throat> all right now i'll cut the intakes off of it I heard Nigel's, Nigel Alexander, Auto Body Solutions. Look, I'm over here getting it done. Getting her done. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. I'm gonna build this thing somewhat like this. It's gonna have these ends on it. I gotta go through and continue to figure out how I'm gonna mock it up and all that. I'll get all the pieces built and I'll get him to weld it together for me. But it's coming along.
Figure wise that, I'll show y'all what a motor looks like. It's been 450s, 158. Aluminum block, K1 rods, K1 pistons, or Wasco pistons, K1 crank, unfilled, and stock sleeves. Huh? I said K1 rods, fool. Yeah, I'm making it right. Look at it. Look at look at that. Uh, look at that unfilled block. Look at that. Everybody says you got to fill the block, so you got to have some nice aftermarket sleeves. Look at that. Straight from GM. Look at that. That's GM. You can still see it. Look at that. They don't even have the 625 head stuff. This has got the old mid-grades in it. Still got the camshaft in her. Old backup motor. Forgot to show it. Nothing special. So you always know how I talk about how Nigel's rich. I'm going to tell you how you know he's rich. It ain't the shop. It ain't the dino room. You're rich when you turn around and take a $5,000 turbo and throw it in the floor. Look at this. Look at this. You know I take better care of my stuff. My stuff's junk. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Look. Don't even cover the wheel. Look, John's walking right by it. They don't care. Just kick it out the way. You know a man's rich when he lay down. Pro Mod 94 and just throw it in the floor like it ain't nothing. Like it's scrap metal. Check it out. I got a lid here. I got to go through and drill it and bolt it on. Didn't turn out looking too bad, did it? Look better than y'all thought. Y'all didn't think it was going to look that good, did you? My old alien head. Look at it. Let me get set in the car real quick. Up on that little lip right here. But if you look right here, if I put it up on the lip, let me get the camera set. If I put it up on the lip, I'll have plenty of room for my, I'll build me a little mountain bracket for my drain and all that. I can go like that, or I can set it down here. If I mount it all the way back, I can still open my glove box. Or well, I can do it like that and just say the heck with the glove box. We'll figure it out. But like I said, I should be able to take this and set it. Let's see if we can't move it something like Set it somewhere like that. And that way Caden can still get up in here like this. He can put his foot right there on that side. And he can put his foot right there beside that one. And still ride. And see, we can still put ice in it right here. Let me jump out real quick. I don't think if I paint it black, I don't think it's going to look too bad. It should allow me to turn this corner and run my intercooler pipe in that way. And then that right there, I'll shoot it down through that floor, that hole down there. And it will be all right. It's going pretty good right there. I got them put me a fitting in a hose right here with a drain on it. I'll just go to Lowe's and get me a little piece of hose. Well, I got a little piece of hose, but I'll get me a fitting that's that size with a 90 on it. I can drill a hole right here in the floor. I can crack it and just let it drain through the floor. It's gonna work out pretty good. Oh yeah, y'all didn't think I was gonna leave the carpet out, did you? Uh -huh. I, found it, I found it at the house, so I went ahead and uh, brought it down here and put it back in the car. Looks pretty good. Cleaned it up a little bit, a couple spots. Old rip right there. That was ripped up, so I stacked a few layers so it ain't so noticeable. Cause that's where my battery used to be. It used to be cut for a round it. Well, when the battery was diagonal, the cut's diagonal. So now I fixed all that. Figure also while I was at it, the seam sealer, that stuff's working good. It's still got a little bit of cushion to it, but it's not bad at all. Anyways, like I said, Got our intercooler up there. She's gonna be all right. I gotta put that panel back in. I gotta mount my air compressor. I gotta run my return line. We'll have it. There you go. Went ahead and touched up the paint on that one. Don't look too bad. I can get... Got the carpet in, gas tanks in, or fuel cells in, batteries in, the plastic's bolted all in. Now I gotta bolt the compressor up, hook my return line up, as I said a minute ago. It ain't looking bad. It's come out pretty good. All right, I figured I'd show y'all something. So my drill bit, my drill only does little drill bits. It don't do three eight stuff. Or I ain't not three eight, but half inch stuff. It always has to be shanked down. So since my bigger drill broke, I figured I'd build this right here. Look at this. Took the head of it out. I stuck a drill bit in the backwards 
into my drill and I spun it backwards against my grinder to get that somewhat straight. So now I can go through and make me a, uh, I can go through and use these bigger bits I ain't never used with the bigger shanks on it because now they'll fit. You know, I ain't never seen nothing like that, have you? Look at that. Works like a champ. That's what I've been using for my whole saw, my drill adapter. Got my return line hooked up. I got to put me a little bolt right here. I'll put me a little bolt to bolt that up. I had a friend the other day ask me why I had a filter on my return line. Well, I got a filter on my feed line. I don't have one before my pump. I went after my pump. I got a welding. It's the 12, 2345A pump. Pretty nice pump. I got a great deal on it. But I got a filter before my injectors. And the reason why I filter this is that way if this line right here ever corrodes or is corroding or starts coming apart, it won't dump all that rubber back into my fuel cell. So I'm I'm the person that's in control of the junk in the fuel cell. So if I use a, a decent funnel and I filter it and I make sure everything ain't getting in here, then I don't have to worry so much about the pump here. And then I also make sure I'm not getting contamination from this raggly line coming back to it that it don't pick up no, no chunks of rubber. If anything gets passed from here, it don't get washed back into the fuel cell. It'll, it'll help the pump. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump some fuel in and see if I can fire this thing off real quick tonight. So my battery was dead. It's 15 to 16 volt battery. I went to cranking. It just barely turned over. I do like my, my fuel cell being higher. I can set my charger up on it now. I, don't, I like it a lot better. Honestly, I like the way it looks a lot better. I just like, you know, I have my charger up on here like this. It ain't sitting down in all crooked and stuff. It's sitting kind of level. It's gonna work out good. Let me get a little charge and thing. We're gonna fire it off. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you one later. Thank you.